Am I the asshole? For packing my kid an inappropriate lunch? I have a son who attends preschool. A few hours after I picked him up from school today, I got a phone call from his teacher. She made absolutely no effort to sound kind when she, in an extremely rude and annoyed tone, told me to stop packing my son such disgusting and inappropriate lunches. I felt absolutely appalled when she said this, as me and the teacher have, up until now, always maintained a very friendly relationship. She added that the lunches I'm packing my son are very distracting for the other students and have an unpleasant odor. I told her that I understand her concerns, as the lunches I pack are definitely not the healthiest, but the lunches are according to my son's preferences. The usual lunch that I send him to school with is small celery sticks with blue cheese and goat cheese, kimchi and spam we are Korean and he absolutely adores this dish, and spicy Doritos marinated in sriracha I know, I know, but he deserves a snack, and I don't put that many chips in the baggie. I ended the call by saying that I very much appreciated her worries, but that at the end of the day, I am not going to drastically change my son's lunches all of a sudden, and that it's not my fault if other students are distracted by his meal. It is very important to me what my son enjoys, and I want him to like my lunches. The teacher sent an email to me an hour ago saying that my response was unacceptable and that his lunches are just too inappropriate to be sent to school any longer. I haven't responded yet and don't want to. I want to maintain a healthy relationship with my son's teachers. I am confused as to what to do. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. I came into this thread wondering what exactly an inappropriate lunch might entail. Sandwiches cut into the shapes of dicks. Teacher is disrespectful and very much out of line. Not the asshole. A lot of second generation immigrants are ashamed to bring their food in public because of people like this teacher, who clearly is very intolerant. Asian food is not inappropriate she is. Natar. Go to the principal. It's blatant racism. If they don't do anything, go to the press. Report her to the principal. Her comments regarding your son's food are disgusting and have an unpleasant tone aka cough cough racist tone. She's too inappropriate to be teaching at the school any longer. Not the asshole. ETA thanks for the upvotes and awards. This teacher is completely out of bounds. You need to bring this to administration. This could easily be seen as discriminatory based on his ethnicity and I can't imagine the school wants to open that can of worms. Keep feeding that baby what he likes. You're a good mama. Not the asshole. Guys, this post is fake. Kimchi, blue cheese and Doritos soaked in sriracha? Spicy Doritos marinated in sriracha I know, I know, but he deserves a snack, and I don't put that many chips in the baggie. I have to wonder how his toddler stomach is not in absolute shambles eating this combo daily. I mean seriously. ESH. The kimchi blue cheese combo probably is funky as hell after it's been sitting in a lunchbox especially. I would def lose my appetite eating next to someone eating that. The teacher is a complete ass for the way she went about it, but we do need to think about others when choosing foods in shared spaces. Just like microwaving popcorn in an office is rude, packing an incredibly pungent lunch can affect others. Not the asshole, I hate to say it but it's pretty textbook racism or at least cultural bigotry. If there were allergies or sensory issues that might be different but it sounds like she doesn't like that your food is different than standard white American lunches. I'm in HR and if this was one employee talking about another's lunch we'd send them to training and give them a warning. If this is a school then there might be education laws protecting you. Though I don't know if those apply to preschool. K, so first off not the asshole. That was not the way to address the issue. That teacher needs to have some sensitivity courses. At the same time, some of those foods have a pretty powerful scent. The lingering odor might be a lot for people who are not accustomed to it. I'm worried that the other kids might start teasing him about how his lunch smells. Kids can be mean, and this seems like the sort of thing that could kick off some teasing. 
Not the asshole, but kimchi can be very pungent. Is it possible it is making other kids nauseous? I don't say that lightly. My ex loves kimchi but if I was in the house when he ate it, it made very nauseous. The way she did this was very wrong either way. I had a co-worker bring kimchi once. My eyes were watering several rooms away. I can't say you're an asshole, but that stuff reeks. Not the asshole but kimchi does have a very potent smell especially if the kid's eating the classroom. That teacher was way out of line. But I do think that bringing food with a strong smell to a work school preschool setting is inconsiderate. The teacher shouldn't have attacked you like that, that was terrible, but she did have a point. The teacher's attitude and word choice was absolutely wrong. However, I think any strong smelling foods should be avoided in public lunchrooms. Sardines and kimchi would fit that category. Spicy Doritos marinated in sriracha I know, I know, but he deserves a snack, and I don't put that many chips in the baggie. Is that any good? I'm intrigued. The only thing I can think of is that kimchi can be very stinky. I love me some kimchi, but I would try to be a little understanding about how it could make your son's class a fair bit distracted. Maybe stop packing the kimchi. Not the asshole though, since your son's teacher was being a real jerk. Yes H the teacher because of the way she handled it and you because packing stuff that has such an intensive smell, to bring to a place where many people share a small space like classrooms isn't okay. I know this stuff tastes great, but for others to smell it and can't avoid it, it's a whole different thing. I have so many questions about how soggy spicy Doritos must get if marinated in hot sauce for hours before lunch, but you have vegetables, protein, etc. present in good amounts. My only other concern would be if he has access to somewhere to brush his teeth afterwards as blue cheese and Doritos might produce some pungent smelling breath afterwards. To some people, kimchi smells like farts. To the teacher is inappropriate with her comments, I will say this, you made your kid into the preschool equivalent to the warm yesterday's fish and broccoli in the communal office microwave guy at work. Soft you're the asshole. You chose some really really heavy scented foods that a lot of kids have trouble acclimating to. If it was just kimchi and spam I would understand the culture card, but blue cheese and sriracha are also flavors that are so strong. All three blue cheese, sriracha, and kimchi can be super pungent and aggravating to a child and I can see why there are complaints. If they are eating in a cafeteria the teacher has less say, but all three in a small classroom is tough. Not the asshole report her to the higher ups in the school, this is racist. You're the asshole. Dude, I like smelly pickles as much as the rest of us whose cultures boast yummy but smelly fermented foods but come on, we all know they reek. I wouldn't subject other little kids who are confined in a shared space for lunch to them. I'm sure there's a non-fermented meal option your son can enjoy at school.